Good morning, greetings to another of the yoga classes on video. Thank you for sticking with us and helping us to produce these. So we're coming up into December. In fact, it's the 2nd of December already. And people are hopefully, um, they took care of themselves during Thanksgiving and are continuing to be safe and monitoring what's going on in their lives, including being careful not to let our thoughts become too negative. Try just to give yourself some space every day, some time where you can just sit and breathe or take a nice walk or do anything that allows you to break that constant chatter that's in our minds. Because especially if we're limiting our social interactions at all, even in normal times, that tends to leave us stuck with that monologue we have in our heads. And that's one of the purposes of yoga, is to help us build our bodies and balance our body, but also allow the mind to do something different, to step away from those inner monologues, which are often very critical or fearful. And when we create some space, then the mind can settle. So speaking of settling, go ahead and make any movements that help you to stretch. And if you have a belt or a strap of some kind, go ahead and stop the tape now and go ahead and take get that by your uh, chair. In fact, for the future, I'll try to remember to warn you at the beginning to get a strap. And come back when you're ready. Come to a comfortable seated position. Let your spine lengthen. Flex and extend the fingers and toes. That helps you to release some tensions. And draw all your senses inward slowly. Begin by either letting your eyes go gently out of focus, or if you feel comfortable with it, close your eyes. And draw the awareness onto your breath. For the class time, try to do all your breathing through your nose. The inhale, pause, exhale, pause. Feel the breath smoothly. Feel as the breath comes in through the nose how it comes in feeling a little cooler than when the breath comes out through the nose. Certainly, if you have congestions or obstructions, you can breathe through the mouth. But as much as possible, allow your breath to keep that even rhythm. Inhale, pause, exhale, pause. And today we're going to work with a mantra, which is just a sound that helps you to focus. And when you're really stressed, when you need to turn down the volume of the inner monologue, a mantra or a sound helps. And today we're just going to use the syllable ah. So as you inhale, inhale through the nose and then gently, ah. Move at your own pace three more times. Ah. As you're ready, let your eyes open if they're not. And draw the shoulders up to the ears, deep inhale, and then like a big sigh. 
two more times. And today, both sitting and standing, we're going to be working on opening up the shoulders and also releasing tension in the neck and tension in the ears. We don't think about it, but all this area, it naturally can tense up in relationship to your jaw, but also tension in the shoulders. So begin, if you wear glasses, take them off, put them somewhere close and safe. Take the flats of your hands, very gently come from just above your temples down to over the hinge of the jaw and gently rub in small gentle circles. Pressing in just enough to feel it but not so hard that you push into the temples or push on your jaw too much. A nice circles five or six times in one direction then go back the other and then come down to the hinge of the jaw and with your fingertips gently don't push in too much work those muscles around the hinge of the jaw some of you may notice that you start salivating more that's normal that's stimulating the salivary glands. And then gently slide like a line from the top of your jawbone down towards your chin. Good. And release. If you wish, you can put your glasses back on. And then gently, as you inhale, let your jaw open as wide as it can without stress. And then slowly close the jaw, but not tight. Two more times. Last time. And let the jaw be open about a half inch or so and side to side, side to side. And then roll the jaw in a circle. And back the other way. And release. Now let your arms hang by the sides and roll your shoulders nice slow circles forward up back and down forward up and back and down one more time in whatever direction you're going And then to the other side, or other direction, I mean. Reverse the direction. And then bring everything back to center. Move away from the back of the chair so that you can let free freedom in the, between the shoulder blades. Interlock the hands. And as you exhale, keep them about in line with the shoulder blades as you press out and let your shoulder blades slide apart. As you inhale, draw the arms back and around, let your shoulder blades slide together. The exhale, moving apart. The inhale, sliding together. Last time. And release. Good. Now imagine that you have like a 
orange under your chin and very gently let your chin come forward and down over that orange and then let your head come back up just to level. Exhale down stretching the back of the neck. Inhale back up just to level. Once more like that. And bring everything back to center. And then I'd like to imagine, have you imagine, and I'll imagine it too, that you have a giant M up in front of you. And we're going to trace it with the nose. So start with your nose down as if it's at the first foot of the M and slowly draw up to the first peak. Let your chin come forward and down as you come to the center foot and come up to the other peak and to the side about 45 and down and back the other direction. And back the other way. So we're going to do a total of two times on each direction. If it's for me, I'm not here. Back the other way. And then bring everything back to center. Good. Sit comfortably erect. Move from the navel. Try to just let your head move with the spine. As you exhale, gently twist to one side. As you inhale, back to center. Exhale to the other side. Inhale to center. Each side again. And last time. And back. Good. And let's pop your, do kind of a little pop, a little kick thing, get some movement into the lower body. And extend both legs and roll the foot in a circle. Draw a circle with your toes back the other way. Good. And then leave one leg extended. Nice long spine. As you exhale, come down just half the distance you think you could come. Inhale, flat back, come back up. Moving from the navel, relatively flat back, come down about halfway. Inhale, back up. One more time like that. And back up. We'll come back to that leg in a moment, but change sides. Legs straight out, toes towards the ceiling. And three times come down about halfway. And the inhale back up. Change sides again. T 
toes pointing to the ceiling. As you exhale, come down about as far as you can without stress. On your inhale, come back up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, back up. And one more time, please. And then release. As you're ready, change sides. And three times. And then release. Good. Change sides again. Let your leg roll out slightly. No more than 45 degrees, even if you have really exaggerated turnout. Try to keep it around 45. And gently come down and come back up. Two more times like that. And after the third time, release, change sides, let that leg turn out from the hip, no more than 45 degrees. And three times, exhale down, inhale, come back up. And then release. Change sides again. Let the foot turn in slightly. You don't want to try and really force it. You don't want to torque your knee or torque the hip. Just enough that then we'll start stretching these muscles in slightly different ways. So three times, exhale down. And inhale up. Two more times. And then release. And the other foot extend three times. And after the third time, release. Shake the legs out. Interlock your hands. Press the palms up. And bring the arms up any amount. And just hold that, but don't hold your breath. Two or three nice full breaths. And then push the palms out and down. Roll the shoulders a few times, alternating directions. And release. Good. And then grab your strap and let's come up to standing. Good. 
So have your feet comfortably distance apart, uh, about under the center of the hips or just slightly wider. Hold the strap so that roughly your hands are just slightly wider than your shoulders. And then bring the strap up over your chest, same dish distance. And then very gently slide the hands to one side, back to center, slide to the other side, back to center. Good, last cycle. Now this is a good way to warm up the shoulders, this whole sequence in the morning. Then drop the hands down so that it's right below your navel roughly, so the elbows are slightly bent. And three times alternating sides, come to one side, back to center, come to the other side, back to center. Two more times. And after that third set, release. Let your shoulders relax, your hands relax if you've been squeezing that strap. And then bring the arms up, elbows bent. If you can't get your hand, you know, the belt above your head, they can be in front of you slightly. But from here, gently alternate sides. So now you're like drawing the one hand across your head. And then release, good. Roll the shoulders both ways. Bring one hand out. The other hand is pretty much over the center of the chest. And we're going to do three circles, coming all the way up, all the way down. Three circles in one direction. And then start from the center point and three circles in the other. Doesn't matter if you start going up first or down first. It's kind of, this time it's a continual motion. And then release. Good. Set the strap aside for a moment. Bring the hands together over your heart, palms touching. As you inhale, let the arms float up. As you exhale, bend the knees slightly, sweep and bring the hands either to the knees or farther down. As you inhale, you can slide the hands up the legs or sweep, come all the way up, and then bring the hands back over the heart. Inhale, coming up. Knees unlocked, sweep or slide. Inhale, come up, sweeping. And hands over the heart. Last time. Good. Interlock the hands, press the palms out, and then release. Bring the arms up, elbows bent. As you exhale, moving from your hips, gently twist. Inhale back to the center. Gently twist to the other side. Inhale to center.
And the next time you twist to your first side, come in and stay a few breaths. When you're ready, back to center and then to the other side. After a few breaths, back to center and release. Shake everything out. Good. Grab your belt again. Go ahead and bring the hands behind. Hold the belt so that your palms are facing back. So like this, as opposed to this. And as you inhale, gently let the arms float up as much as they will without stress. As you exhale, float back down. Inhale floating up, exhale down, last time. Good. Now turn the hands so their palms are facing forward, so they'd look like that. And three times as you inhale, lift, you should feel different at stretch. Exhale down, two more times. And then release. Good. Keep a hold of your strap. Let's come back to sitting. Extend one leg, bring the strap down just below the toes on the ball points. And go ahead and take a hold of the strap. Get a good firm grip. Draw back so already you're getting a passive stretch. And keep that and as you exhale gently come down enough. You should start feeling it in the back of your leg. As you inhale come back up. Hinge from the hips, coming down. Inhale, come back up. Third time, coming in and out. And the fourth time, come down and stay. four or five of your breaths. Nice, full, deep. And then inhale and come up. Good. Release. We'll do the same pattern on the other side. So down just below the toes on the ball point. Draw back enough, you're already feeling a little stretch. And three times, moving in and moving out of the stretch. Being cautious not to push too hard. Try to keep your leg relatively straight as you come down. And the fourth time, coming in and staying for a few breaths. And when you feel even, release, come back up. Release the strap. Go ahead and flex and extend the hands. Bend down, bend up. Good. And release. And come into a comfortable seated position. If your back's bothering you, you can move a little farther back. If you have back issues, uh, find a way that's comfortable to sit relatively erect. We're going to spend three or four minutes in a kind of a breathing exercise that'll help us 
to turn down the volume of the chatter in the mind, one that you can do on your own anytime, except perhaps driving. You don't want to close your eyes and drive. But let's come into that position where you're comfortably erect. Let your eyes close, or if that makes you uncomfortable in a few cases, you may get dizzy. Uh, you can have the eyes slightly open, but try not to focus hard on anything. Draw the awareness in and find the flow of the breath. Feel it coming in and out of your nose. And as you inhale, think to yourself, breathing in stills the mind. Then as you breathe out, breathing out calms the body. Breathe in, still mind. Breathe out, calm body. Still mind, calm body. Still and calm. And just sit with the sensation of the breath. Let your mind be still. Any thoughts like clouds floating across the mind but gone. And then very gently let your awareness begin to move back into the space. Begin by bringing your awareness to the hands and feet. And as you become aware of the feet and the hands, gently let movement start in the fingers and toes. And let that movement flow up the limbs and let the arms and legs begin to move gently and slowly. And then gently let your head begin to move. Small movements. And then bring everything back to center let the eyes gently open. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you next time.